turn it on once in a while. When, when, you, when you drop me off in front of my buddies at a party, though, you fucking have that. Or, he's done that so many times. I remember my buddy lived just out, like, just on the highway there. I, I, I cracked the force for a second, let off, and then just slammed gear and just, you know, opened it up halfway. It's, it's, it's only a 570 Holly. I mean, I, I could put a 720 on here easily. Number one. <laughs> no, I, it, but no, off the line is squirrely. Show, oh, show, fuck fucking yeah. go, oh, yeah. dude! It's it's a really fun car because it's like very well proportioned though. Like it's really it's not. Yeah, it's like, like it's like driving a little a little uh little six six cylinder standard. Like, I mean, the clutch is just very feather smooth, and but she grabs. I mean, don't let the clutch pull you. You know, the clutch is out. She's gonna she ain't gonna slip. She's gonna go. Yeah, no, she fucking moves for sure. You can pick up these cars down the States for like fifteen, eighteen hundred or a thousand bucks. Yeah. Right? Here I can probably get if I put a paper tomorrow I get through thirty grand tomorrow, fucking hands down. I'd have to pick and choose who I sell it to. Well, yeah, it's like your baby, eh? Well, yeah. The only thing is, though, like, yeah, years. yeah, you get the really that long. I thought you, you just like only had it for about five years or so. You see no, somebody else no, driving I, I, your I car down the road, you're like, Fuck for the last shit. seven, it's been like it is. But well, this is the kind I bought of it in, uh, in 1991, so, so, yeah. so like 19 years. Yeah. Take her out on nice days. She takes her out like a lot more in the summertime, obviously for certain reasons. But like we go to car shows like pretty much every weekend, all up and down the island and stuff like that. So yeah, no, she's a good car on the highway for sure. And you know, I'm still, if I just drive her, just to, like, they'll take off normally from a light, normal acceleration, just run through your guy. Just like driving a car, right? Yeah, the power's there. If you go on this fucking hammer, yeah, okay. You know, watch the speed will go up and watch the fucking gas gauge go down. But just normally driving it, going up island, like 120 mile run, I'm probably getting 18 miles to the gallon. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. That, that's because I got a small Holly on it, see? Uh, if I had a 650, I'd probably cut that down to about 14. Can you fire it up? Um, yep. These are upstairs in the bowl. I know where you keep them, Jen. <laughs> well, let's open the garage door. Yeah, we'll do that while you're up there. Yeah, you want to just push the button by the door there? Hey, can you grab my camels off the table? Which? My camels are on the table. Okay, yeah. Thanks. It's tight. I'm lucky. So I'm not used to old cars, right? Like, like they're fucking fast. It's a whole different power, right? This is yeah, like you drive a Honda Civic. Yeah, you know, like it may fucking, it may do a fucking 300 foot burnout. And yeah, it may go really, really fast, but these cars are way more fun to drive. My friend has a Jag XJR. Mm -hmm. It's 410 horse. That Decent. car fucking flies, man. My and it's like you're sitting in a Jag, right? Yeah. Oh, it's nice, My right? buddy's got a fucking, or actually he just sold it yesterday. He had a 2006 uh, Lexus IS 300 twin turbo all wheel drive <sighs> fucking, it, the thing fucking sticks to the ground. Oh, it's like a, I don't even know. It's like it's actually just glued to the ground. Like, you fucking, you fucking hit it and rip, and it's just like, <laughs> like, it's just, it just sticks. It's so amazing. My way is an Audi Quattro and the same thing. Like, it, it's not good. It's oh, not good at the beginning. Yeah, you can't see it right now. My, my fucking bad boy has a really sick A4, A4 turbo. And then in the next one, yeah, and then in the garage, I don't know if it's here or not, but he's got like a really, really, really nice Porsche too. Should pull off the sheet. <clears throat> I never seen a green one. You know, tell you the truth. You know what the funny thing is? Is this is a Ford color? Yeah. This is 1993, 95 Ford Mustang electric green with a bit more candy in it, so it's got a little bit more shine to it. It has problems. Like, look, it's. But you know what? That, that seam right there, Camaros are notorious for that, and um, we left it in the snow one winter, like it actually snowed here, like it doesn't really snow here, but it snowed here a couple of years ago, like pretty good, and that's when we had the motor out of it, when we were redoing the motor, and it sat with snow on it for a couple of days, and we went and like brushed it off and stuff, and we didn't fix it. <coughs> what are you talking Larry, about? Yeah? Jill said your phone keeps buzzing. I better go grab it. And I smoked your smoke, man. Oh. Oh, I, we got lots of smoke. Still camel. 
I know oh, you got them? Right on. Yeah, because I'm all, I'm all Canadian smoked out now. <laughs> uh, you know, I was when I was back in Louisiana, I was saying to myself, I can't wait until... If he I'm moves like, back here, he'll be fucking... He'll be, uh, be ordering, ordering smokes from the States. Or you just go to the border? Or no, go? it's just uh, I, I thought I, I would be enjoying smoking uh, Players Light like I used to smoke and all that, but well, I've noticed that it tastes... A product of your environment. Well, there's no taste, yeah. Well, Camels is a very strong taste cigarette compared to something we would smoke in Canada. Well, I'll wait for Larry. Cause, uh, yeah, let him, let him hear it fire up, eh? I love American smokes. I love fucking... Uh, well, I can't believe they got the, the Canadian the, bullshit what, what, on the American pack. Yeah. I mean, that blows me away. What's the... Uh, oh, yeah, anything sold in Canada. Yeah, can, oh, yeah. My last yeah. pack of Camels Larry took because he wanted to take back and show everybody in Alberta. Uh, you know, camels without that shit on it. Yeah, yeah. And it's the polar opposite, right? Anything important has to have, uh, well, you know, labels that uh, normally would be, you know, anything anything that's sold in the country that's supposed to be labeled has to be labeled. What's the red and white pack of smokes you guys have? Marlboro? Marlboro. Marlboro. Well, Marlboro. Marlboro's Winston, coming different. Winston. Winston, yeah. Just the red and white fucking you thing. That well? Yeah, we fucking... My mom and came into the border, and they brought back. They brought me a fucking thing. They brought me a carton back of them. They're pretty cool. Like, huh? it was. Uh, they're like eighty percent owned or sixty percent owned by the KKK or something like that. I heard that Coors is. No, is, but if you look on the Marlboro pack, there's a K in the front, a K in the top. Cross. and see Demorian too. Demorian is actually. A see, 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 if you put up your down. The WMP is White Nation Power. Yeah, right. Oh, come on. They're going to find something in everything, right? No, 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 Fuck I, I, that. I didn't know that. Hey, I, I heard know. it was owned by a French company. I don't know. My buddy went and stayed in Germany, and the guy who owns Marlboro Cigarettes, he stayed in his castle in Germany. It was, he said that he's like, no bullshit of a lie. You walk in, and there's like this big fucking granite tower. On the top of the ground tower is a bowl, and it's full of marble cigarettes. Yeah. Just loose cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say they change them every day. It's this guy's house. You just walk in, you light smoke. It's just like regular. And how, yeah. ma uh, how, how many, uh, whoever's down the south, they walk into their mansion, there's a big, huge, same bowl that's full of coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, there's those houses in Sydney, man. Fuck. <laughs> when I was living in Toronto, um, I bought a pack of smokes and opened it up, and it was, the inside were, like, kind of shredded. The machine kind of caught, oh. like, Gooed up or whatever, and this pack was fucked. Yeah. So I called the one eight hundred number, and they sent me a free carton. Yeah. Hey, and a fancy box too, you know. I don't know. Well, his Porsche's in the garage. Yeah, but, but well, know, it's far this up. Yeah. Jill said, uh, your mom said earlier that, uh, that uh, his parents came over, I guess, or, and knocked on our door by mistake. So she's all freaking out. Oh, well, his parents. Nobody here. But, but I, I can't. I can't like whack crack. No. It's sick. It sounds like it's not too loud. Like it's it sounds like a big box. It sounds like it's got three hundred. Well, did like Jill say you could turn it on for just for a set? Fuck no. Fuck no. When I first flash it up, it'll be on high idle. Oh yeah. High, yeah. high fast idle. And then I touch it, it'll go down to mid to, to mid mid fast. They call it. And then after a second, if I kick it down too soon, it won't come off the mid high. It'll sit for a second or two. And then when I touch it, then. Then I almost have to feather the gas because she will stall. Yeah, that's but that's what the choke's set for. So he's like, ask Adam, he's let her run for like, you know, three, four, five minutes out front, right? And then, then you can. Because you drive this thing stone cold, it chokes off, I'll get this fall in his face. Yeah. Right? Put it to 68, so. Expected. Down there, don't you? One or two, what? Okay. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, I didn't know what it meant. Yeah. 102. 102. Yeah. That's the retirement, though, right? Because a lot of guys use 102 for their fucking big ones. But they, they got some additives in the gas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, you get 94 here if you want in like that, you got to add octane boosters. Where do you get a plus? Down there? No. We can't get it up here. Uh, uh, not out of the pump. Down there they can. 94? No, no, no. Get 94 out of the pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chevron, Petro Cam. More I've always wondered what those numbers meant. It's an octane. So which one should I get? No, no, no. The highest don't, number? Don't get one. Because I don't like buying that premium on no, no, no. bullshit. Oh, okay. No, 94 octane is like something you should run your car. 102 is something you should rip. When you have dual 454 is supercharged on nitrogen. In, in a fucking, like, cigarette boat or something like that. You don't need to run 102. Here's your little idle. Oh, she's good and warm. It's about quite as choppy. It's about half way here. Maybe a little less than half. Like, on, on, on the good side. See, if I can see, it's starting to carpet up there. She doesn't like fucking chucking ones like that, no? Well, that was good. It is. <laughs> yeah, you should turn it off. Should turn it off. Tell him to turn it off. Yeah, that, that's that's long enough. Oh, it sounds great. Yeah, it's a fucking it's a wicked car for sure.